and Israel, and you can download it free on the internet. And we're probably going to post a link at our website as well. And those who are interested, you know, um, just link us about that, or we'll try to put some information maybe in the description. But we look in this map. Look at the key of the map. The key of the map says Solomon's Kingdom, the yellow, and then the orange, like red, reddish orange. The orange it says is the area annexed after Queen of Sheba's visit, her state visit, and it was held for 40 years. Now, if you understand what part of the Middle East this is, where the true Israel and Judah today, this is what they call Saudi Arabia and, and Mecca. But if you do a little bit of historical research, you'll recognize that Saudi Arabia was only named Saudi Arabia after like 19, I think around 1930 or after 1930 basically. So this is a new thing. Before 1930s and everything, there was no Saudi Arabia, before like the, I think it was 1930, 1920, but before the 19th century, if you went back in the 1800s, there was no Saudi Arabia. It was called Arabia or Western Arabia. You understand? Know Western Arabia and, and Southern Arabia, the Horn of Africa. You understand the Gulf of Aden, the Gulf of the Garden of Eden is really the true area and location of the biblical Israel. Because we've been pointing this out to ones and ones that according to Yahweh, according to El Elohe Israel, the land that was given to Abraham's seed was between the two rivers. And those two rivers are the Nile River extending all the way along the coast of East Africa. That's why East Africans, if you really peep it they have a, a different mentality vis-a-vis -vis this world order and the Somalians are right at the horn of this difference in the mentality Ethiopians as well Eritreans um, um, Kenyans and, 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 and Ugandans and, and, and Saudis the Saudis actually are the real Ishmaelites as well as the Somalians these are Ish, Islamic or Is, Ishmaelite our people that come from Abraham that are all part of Abraham's seat you understand but because of migrations wars and other type of persecution and disobedience of our people in the covenant we have been dispersed we've been pushed around we've lost you know if you look at what's going on in Africa for the last hundreds of years if you understand that the, the, the Sudanese people are the original what they call the Ahlil, the Ahlil Bayt, the original family of the Prophet Muhammad, are those black so-called Arabs or so-called Arabs or so-called Arabs. Or